What's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got another video for you. Now, here it is. I have three different consoles, right? These are Android streaming devices. These devices are called Zadu Media Players, and they are awesome for starting your own media library with movies, TV shows, um, photos, certain documents you can place on these devices and share them across your network. But there was one thing missing from these Android devices, the Google Play Store. You come to the right place, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play application where you can download apps to these devices, all right? Very, very simple. All you have to do is follow my instructions, have the flash drive or external hard drive with you, and we're going to plug it into the device and get you going. It's really, really simple, all right? Pay attention. I'm going to have all the, the website that I'm using in the description of this video, all right? Let's get ready to get it started, all right? And um, get the app, the Google Play app, onto these devices, all right? Big salute. Let's get the party started. Let's get to the computer. Let's go. Okay, guys, if you look in the description of this video, I will give you this website. But here it's right here. If you put this in your uh, web browser, you will get this page. This is a great, great page for getting firmware updates or information about all of the Zadu products that are out there including remote controls all right so from here once you go to mcluna.net hopefully i'm saying that right i'm hopefully i'm saying it correctly um and again this will be in the description of the video on here guys they give a lot of information so whatever device you have uh, from zadu this is a great site to come visit but again we're here to get the google play and the device i'm using is the z20 pro all right the z20 pro and so in this search bar right here all i'm gonna do is enter the google play as you see right here all right so once you put the google play in here guys just again just hit the enter or hit the uh you know the okay button the yellow button right here and all we have to do guys is go down here and find the device. All right, so whatever device you have that you're using for us to do, this is what you want to do. All right, you want to scroll down here and select the, the, the device that you have on hand. Again, I'm going to use the Z20. This is the newest Zadu product that I have um, um, here in my home. And so again, you see all of these, these are not Zadu 20. They even got the Zadu X9X. That's old school right there. And I do have that device. Uh, I'm going down. So here it is right here. I got the Zadu Z20 Pro. And this is a firmware download for the Google Play. As you see it right here, Google Apps. If you got the Z9X Pro, here is yours right here, guys. So it's as simple as that. All you have to do is just click on the picture of the device you have, and then you just scroll down. So again, I'm using the Z20 Pro. You might be using something else. Now, guys, they got the official download from the Zadu website. All right. And so you hear, you see this. It says the V10. Four eight underscore G beta, and then they got this one right here V one dot zero dot four eight beta. So I think either one of these will work, but for right now I'm going to use these. And you can click either of these, right? You can go to the official download or to or the alternate download. All right, so I'm gonna just go with this one for right now. Let's see if it works. And if this one don't work, we're gonna just try this one either way. But remember, guys, when you do the download, make sure you have your flash drive. All right, make sure you got your flash drive or external drive so 
after we get it and we install it onto our flash drive or external hard drive we be able to plug it directly into the Zadu box all right so let me just click on this right quick and please be patient guys please be patient all right and depending on your computer everybody's computer is a little bit different but just be patient I'm gonna go over here to my download folder and see and here we have it right here and so it's, it should come up with something like this the Z Pro 11 version 1.0.48 G and then it have some numbers and then it says OTA package all right so again I already have it but I'm gonna walk you through the process if this one don't work right here guys please click on this one now what I'm going to do I'm going to plug my flash drive into my PC and you should have heard a notification all right so let me go over here and grab it right quick and I'm gonna just sit that one right there so I got my downloads folder right and I got my USB drive all right so I'm gonna go into my USB drive and here right I'm gonna get rid of this one cuz I already have it but just for this demonstration I'm gonna get rid of it and so what I'm going to do out of my download folder, I'm going to drag this and put it on my USB D drive. And this drive will go into the PC, guys. So as simple as this, take this and I'm going to just hover over where it says USB D. And I'm going to, and as you see, it's going to go over to this flash drive. Simple as that, guys. This is not hard at all. So after this is done, let's get over to the Zadu device. Let's get on over there and let me show you how to install it. All right. Pretty, pretty simple. All right. Pretty simple. All right. Let's get over to the Zadu device. Let's go. Okay, guys, I am back. As you see right here, if you're looking up in your camera, I do have a Zadu device right here. What I want you to do with your Zadu device, regardless of whichever one you have, you need to plug the USB into one of the USB ports on the device, all right? Just like that, just plug it in. Uh, even if you have, you know, another one of the devices, uh, let me just grab one. Again, if you have one, let me fix this. Know how that go with the antenna again it doesn't matter if you put it in the front or one of the side slots just make sure you do it you just take it right take your drive and plug it directly in all right that's what you have to do all right if it's in the back plug it in the back <laughs> you just want to put it inside of one of the ports the usb ports on the the rear the back the side all of that it doesn't matter if it's a usb 2.0 or 3.0 you just want to do it all right so again i have the z20 pro so let me go ahead and put it in and as you see on the screen at the top right you see it just right there and then you would get that notification saying device detected all right so with that being said, guys, I'm going to hit cancel, right? It's cool. All right. But just to show you on all of my Zadu devices, I have Google Play on every last one of them. So I can show you that right now. And you see it right there. You don't have it. But let me show you how you're going to do it. All right. It's very, very simple. All you have to do, go over here. You can go to, I think, about let's do that nope not about oh yes you can you can go to the about and go up to update up there all right that's one way how to do it so let's do that again all right let's do that again you can when your screen comes up all right when it comes up you see this right here that says about go over there highlight that in blue with your remote control hit the okay button 
all right and you see up there where it says update it should already be ready to go it's in blue you can hit update now the other way you can get to it is this way all right let me go hit the home button hit the home button now if you go up to quick settings you can do that as well that's all you got to do is just go all the way over and then you can get to it as well all right so it's a couple ways that you can get to it like when you go to upgrade and then update you can get to this as well all right so there's a couple ways that you can get to it all right and so but the easiest way is just to straight up on the home screen go over here to the about select update which is right here and then what you want to do is highlight usb update make sure that's highlighted and so when you click that you see where it says your storage like mine's i got an sd or um usb so it's most likely this one this is internal storage this is your usb this is you know of course uh your samba and then you got nfs we want this one right here where it has the usb icon right here all right that's the icon and so what we want to do is select it and when we select it just go down or i think you can go up as well and so what you want to do there go the file right there z pro 11 version 1 dot zero dot four eight g for google and then they have a bunch of numbers and then it says zip at the end all right when we click on it it tells you right here checking update file is this all right and hopefully this doesn't mess up because again i already have the zadu on mine all right so just be patient and it says update file successfully and as you see down here at the bottom, guys, it's starting to copy it over. And once it get done, that laser come across, we're going to hit update. And when it does update, it's going to restart your system. So just be patient. Just be patient. All right. And if you like this music in the background, definitely leave a comment below leave a comment but this is one of the things right here Zadu devices um lack you know it would have been beautiful if they could just automatically give us a, a google play store on here but it's all good you know as long as they make a way right we going we gonna ride it out and again, it's installing the system update. Yours will be doing the same thing. I told you guys, this is very, very simple. Honestly, I could have made this video probably about three to five minutes. But again, you know, not everybody, you know, uh, not everybody. Uh, let me just say this. Not everyone learned the same. So sometimes we got to crawl before we walk. You know and before we run of course you crawling and so we instead of me just going quick and fast i'm going to just walk everybody through so before you get to saying dale just get to the point nah not on this channel we don't get to the point all right we walk it we talk it and we explain it correctly all right and so what i'm going to do though i'm gonna pause this all right it looks like it's going to take a little bit of time and again you got to be patient but when it get done i'll go ahead and restart the video all right so let me pause it and then we'll go from there all right guys it's finally got to that point so once you see this you know we're in the clear guys if you're not subscribed to this channel definitely click that subscribe button all right also what you want to do is click that bell icon and then select all that way you get notified anytime i drop a video all right or any type of content or when i go live on mondays and fridays all right so guys after you get this i can hit cancel all right we don't need to drive if you want to take the drive out you can take the drive out it doesn't matter um but now all you have to do is go down to your apps 
and you should have the Google Play Store on your device. And all you got to do is just sign in, guys. It's as simple as that. Um, other than that, guys, this is the easiest way to add the Google Play to your device. All right. Very, very simple. Again, I will leave the website where you can get that file. I will leave that in the description. Remember, if one of them don't work on the website, if there's a do, the official download doesn't work, definitely hit the alternate download and then go from there. All right. Let's go and shut this down and let me finish it up. Okay, tubers, thank you for tuning in for another video. Again, I just wanted to walk you through this. I didn't want to be too fast, um, just in case we have anyone that's just learning the process. Um, so again, I apologize for anybody who just wanted me to get to the point. Um, but this is a channel where we all learn together and we can all understand. But big salute to everybody that's tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, all right? click that bell and when you click that bell icon make sure you select all that way you get notified anytime i drop videos pictures or go live you will be right there to get notified all right so again thank you i'm, I'm starting to get that itch back guys and so with that itch i'll be doing amazon videos apple tv videos zidu formula buzz it does does it doesn't matter I'm starting, it's starting to get back fun, and this is something that I really needed. Again, thank y'all. Thank you for everyone that supported me and continue to support me. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Big salute. This is Dale. I'm out. Peace.